Hello, it is Alexis and Lillian and we are coming to you from Brooklyn, Brooklyn, New York. We've been here for a few days now. We're starting our big American adventure. Three mm -hmm. weeks in New York to start, so we got some time to make some videos for you. Yay! Whoop, whoop. So today we're gonna chat about what introverts can learn from extroverts. So Alexis is the extrovert in the relationship and I'm the introvert. If you know, it's not that hard to tell. I was thinking in this video, mm -hmm. we can chat about some of your extrovert ways, how you deal with certain situations and mm -hmm. how myself and other introverts could learn from that. Hmm. By the way, we're gonna do this the other way around. I know there's gonna be people, you know, extroverts can learn from introverts as well. Absolutely. Duh. <laughs> so we're gonna be doing that as well. Before we jump into anything further, I think we need to have a clear definition of what an introvert is and what an extrovert is because there's a lot of misconceptions around that. Okay, so an introvert on paper is basically a person that gets more, more energy, energy from, from Gets more energy from alone time, being in their, yes. their personal own space. Exactly. And, yeah. and spends more energy being around other people, whereas an extrovert tends to get energy from other people. Mm -hmm. We're energy suckers. A lot of people think that being an introvert means being shy or being insecure or being, or weird. being yeah, or awkward or something like that. That's not what it is. There are a lot of introverted people who are more shy, more awkward, blah, 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 but it's not the same thing. Right now we're in New York and one of my main objectives here is to work on the book that I'm writing. As part of that, I'm going to these different writers groups. So yesterday I went to an event and holy smokers, there were a lot of people. It said on Meetup there were only gonna be five people, including me, so I was like, perfect. You're in New York! Come I on. went there, it was over 25 people, and there wasn't, there was almost no seat left. I feel like if I would have been an extrovert, I would have been like, hey everyone, I'm Lillian, I'm new here, anyone got a spot? But anyone me being me, spot. I just came in, I found a spot, and I was like, <sighs> and you're like, whew. We had a 25 minute riding sprint. And then in between, we had 10 minutes to mingle. to mingle. And every introvert knows, oh dear. I had my laptop, so I just like kind of kept writing. I would have found it rewarding to talk to other writers. Mm -hmm. And there was a whole group of writers to just kind of chat about the process. Mm -hmm. I'm very rarely going to be the one to approach someone else and be like hey what are you doing here i overthink things and then i'm like what if they don't hear me or it's gonna be awkward or something mm -hmm. like that so what do you do i definitely don't overthink anything i don't think i have like any filter half the time when it comes to things like that i just like go up to a person that i think maybe i would get along with so mm -hmm. like i'm very much like a vibey person i would say so if i feel like I'm being drawn towards someone, then I'm like, okay, maybe this is for a reason. So I go like, hey, like, how's it going? Are you from New York? Like, what's up? Okay, so you feel out the vibe, you see who, which person seems the most appealing to you. Yeah. And then you just go up to them. But like, what do you say? I feel like people kind of make it a little obvious if they want to chat and make it very obvious if they don't want to chat. See, this is where I go wrong. Because mm. I feel like I, Without wanting to make it seem like I don't want to chat. Ah, so you put up your like I'm, I'm definitely realizing. not sitting there in the corner like <laughs> any any takers. I got some real Scanning. stories. Don't you feel my vibe? <laughs> I'm definitely more like oh shit. You're like, it's mingle time and I don't know anyone. <laughs> Laptop, phone. I'm busy. Headphones in. <clears throat> what happens naturally is. When I talk to someone, for example, if I'm like looking through clothes at like a vintage store or something like that, I pick something up and I comment on it. Oh, this shirt's so cute. And the girl or whoever it is that's working there says like, I know, it's so nice, da da da. And then they ask, where are you from? And then I'm like, I'm from here. Are you like, where, are you originally from See? here? So then automatically- So you just blurt something out. <laughs> This hot dog is so good! Beautiful day! <laughs> yeah, see, people do that. I don't do that. Because I feel like I would be like, cool pants! And, and then, like, like, no one says anything. And I'm like, well, that was fucking awkward. <laughs> we should do a video of this me trying to put your 
tips into practice uh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. seeing what happens. First of all, it seems to be just like the vibe you're giving off. Yeah. You're giving off like an inviting, friendly vibe. You're not overthinking things. No, you're not just really. like going into it and you don't have that fear that I somehow seem to have. Again, because I'm overthinking things. Like as an extrovert, I also don't really like this like chit chat, like blah, blah, blah kind of conversation. It's like, I just want to get over that hump so that we can get like more comfortable with each other so then we can have actual conversation. I feel like, yeah, you don't want to just like jump right in and be like, so tell yeah. me about your trauma. Yeah, like, <laughs> sometimes I actually do that. Like, what are you insecure about? <laughs> So small talk, yeah, but the, see that's the thing, I just don't really know what to talk about. But I've been wanting to take improv classes and I feel that could help. Mm. And I feel like it also helps to crack jokes, which I'm, I'm good at when I'm comfortable with someone, but I'm terrible at when I'm like just meeting new people. Like I'm not going to be cracking jokes, the risk is too high. But also I feel like your kind of jokes like some people need to know you first before they understand your humor. I have a very dry yeah, humor. Yeah, she has like dry humor, so I feel like with like the wrong person, they'd be like, <laughs> I think I'm a bitch. Yeah. <laughs> Which is even better. <laughs> They're like, vibes are off. She doesn't want to talk to anyone, and when she does talk, she's a bitch. Cool. <laughs> but I also like that about you is because like you're not fake, right? Keeping it real. Sometimes I think like, do I actually genuinely want to be talking to someone right now? Mm -hmm. Or do I just feel like there's pressure to be talking to someone right now? Or otherwise I'm being made to feel like it's awkward. Mm -hmm. You know, because mm -hmm. yesterday I was like, yes, it would be nice to meet other writers, sure. But that, that wasn't the objective that I went in there with. Mm -hmm. My objective was to write. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also, it's like, I think that if you have something nice to say to someone, you then just say, say it. it because it will make their freaking day i'm telling you like it's actually like super rewarding for me as well to see that like i just made someone's day by just genuinely telling them how i feel yeah yeah you're nice you always say things like that <laughs> like i saw a girl recently i was just she walked out of this coffee shop and i was actually like oh my god her outfit is amazing like she looks so good and i told her i was like you look amazing and she was just like oh my Oh my god oh my god like she was like shocked that someone said that to her and i was because like, we were in the netherlands yeah they don't do that like here <laughs> well you know the thing is that our brains are different i understand it in theory but it's just always going to be more difficult for me little curveball here but something that's really interesting is actually is that i have experienced what it's like to not have all these inhibitions on another known party drug that starts with M and is not meth. What? I have felt what it must feel like to not have the inhibition and to Mother not have all the overthinking. Yeah, yeah. Because when I've done it, I, you know, without any problem, just go up to strangers and just start chatting with them. Mm -hmm and have amazing conversations and with them. And they're giving that energy back to you. Like they it seem interested, yeah. the conversation and, is going but, well. But I'm not even thinking about like, oh, what's gonna happen or something. I'm just like, oh, I feel like this right now. It usually goes very well and it feels good, yeah. And then I'm like, it can be so easy if you don't have all of that like in your brain holding you back. But the thing is just that in my sober, normally pulled state, my brain just isn't like that. But mm -hmm. yeah, it's interesting to be able to see, oh, so this is what it feels like. It's actually not that hard. Yeah. But also I think like, and I know you're not saying this, but like introverts definitely don't need to change themselves because that's life. And I feel like you need introverts and extroverts. You need the yin and the yang for balance to happen, right? Yeah. Definitely. If everyone was an extrovert, I'd be freaking tired. <laughs> Things mm -hmm. are like easier if you are an extrovert, you know? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You're gonna be meeting more people, you're gonna be creating more opportunities for yourself, you're gonna be more popular. Like the popular people in school, for example, they're not introverts, they're freaking extroverts, you know? You're gonna be like the person in the back. Well, that was quite the chat. Thank you so much, Alexis, for sharing your extrovert tips and advice. I will try to put some of that into action. Applying extrovert techniques to situations where they can be beneficial. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> okay, everyone. Um, we hope you have a great time. <laughs> See, this is how I wherever, will be. Wherever you are. Thank you for 
sticking to the end if you did and yeah if you enjoyed the video give it a like leave us a comment because it always helps and if you're new here subscribe cheers cheers, cheers.